Hello everyone and welcome to Survivor Radio Network, your weekly nerd news. If you like this video, give us a like, consider subscribing, and join us on Discord. Everything we talk about this week will be linked below. Let's jump into it. We're playing Double Duty this week, so here are all the games you might have missed last week and all the games coming up next week. Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate. This Ultimate update to the classic fighting game includes the Aftermath expansion and the two combat character packs totaling 37 fighters overall. In addition to the expansive roster of your favorite Mortal Kombat fighters, these latest packs include comic characters such as Spawn and the Joker, as well as iconic film characters Robocop, Arnold Schwarzenegger's Terminator T-800, and Sylvester Stallone's Rambo. The next generation versions of the game get 4K graphics and improved performance. MK11 Ultimate Edition Bicycle Kicks onto PS4, PS5, Xbox, Switch, Stadia, and PC on November 17th. Star Renegades. Mixing the chocolate that is Tactical JRPG with the peanut butter of a procedurally generated roguelite, Star Renegades features a mission-based campaign with an intelligent adversary system. Send your service robot, J5TIN, into the next dimension when all hope is lost to give your next group of heroes a fighting chance. Star Renegades is available on Switch, Xbox Game Pass for PC and console, and Steam. Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity. For those wanting to jump back into the world of Breath of the Wild and find out what happened during the Great Calamity, Hyrule Warriors puts you in the middle of the action as Link, Zelda, the Four Champions, and Impa. Battle your way through hordes of Hyrule's most formidable foes alone or in two-player split-screen co-op in Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity on Nintendo Switch. Katamari Damacy, Reroll. When the King of All Cosmos accidentally destroys all the stars in the sky, it's up to you, his princely son, to put the twinkle back in the heavens. This wacky action game returns with fully updated graphics for one or two players, now on PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, and PC. Football Manager 2021 For those that prefer their football action both on and off the pitch, Football Manager returns with even more control over your club as you work to bring home the ultimate victory. From recruitment to playmaking and everything in between, Football Manager 2021 lets you step into the shoes of a club manager to plan the perfect team, perfect match, and perfect season. Football Manager 2021 comes to Xbox, Mac, and PC on November 24th. World of Warcraft Shadowlands. The latest expansion to this iconic MMO features five new zones, a new player hub, and new features like the Mysterious Covenants, which have unique missions, abilities, armor sets, bonuses, mounts, pets, and more available in the four distinct sanctums depending on your covenant of choice. The Shadowlands puts high-level players in the realm of the departed in a battle to restore the cosmos and reconnect the threads of reality. Take part in new dungeons and raids and ascend the Tower of the Damned in Warcraft Shadowlands on PC November 23rd. If you were one of the lucky few to pick up the next generation consoles this past week, you may not be so lucky after all. Both of the next gen consoles are experiencing a variety of issues according to online users. Some Xbox Series X users are reporting the disk drive having issues loading disks and also clicking noises on the consoles. 
While PS5s are experiencing reboots and crashes for certain users, and defaulting to the PS4 version of games for others. Most of these issues should hopefully be corrected with a software patch over time, but some may point to hardware problems in the initial launch units, so you may want to wait before picking one of these shiny new systems up. The 2020 Game Awards nominees were announced this week ahead of the awards show, which will air on December 10th. Leading the nominations was the controversial Last of Us Part II, with 10 nominations across practically every eligible category, including two for the performances of Critical Role co-stars Ashley Johnson and Laura Bailey as Ellie and Abby, respectively. Supergiant's roguelite action game Hades picked up eight nominations, including Game of the Year as well. Ghost of Tsushima, Doom Eternal, Final Fantasy VII Remake, and Animal Crossing round out the Game of the Year nominees with multiple nominations for each. Multiple surprise hits of the year like Among Us, Fall Guys, Genshin Impact, and Phasmophobia also received nods in various categories. Head over to the Game Awards website to see if any of your favorites were nominees and cast your vote for the games you think are worthy of award. Let us know any games we missed, what games you're looking forward to, and don't forget to join us on Discord. I'm Dragon and this has been SRN Weekly Nerd News.